Jacko, you know this is what I had to do. What the hell is that thing? Look out! Look out! That's too big for us to handle. I'll try We're to We're gonna have to it. handle it. Uh, well, there's got to uh, be another way. He's going in by himself without a plan again. No. He always does that. But this time it won't work out well. I saw it. What are you talking are you about, Paul? It won't work out well if he does it. We have to stop him. Please. What do you need, Bull? Just tell us what you need. Huh. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You're not supposed to be able to change anything. So, um, what are we supposed All to right. do? All right. Here's the plan. Zach. Okay. Look. I can go back. I can go back to the past, and they say you can't change anything, but maybe I can. But you have to hold them off so that I can, I can do it. No. Oh, okay. Wait. Hold them off, please, please. But what happens right. to us? I don't know. Just wish me luck. But okay. Uh, does anybody get hurt or? Oh, 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 fine. Look, we got your back. Okay, we'll take care of it. Okay, look out! It's coming! Then serve time for deep 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 Hey everyone! We gotta get ready! Ready? Ready for what? Every Navirian remembers the gigantic cloud, black as Cuddlebeard's ink, as it started forming on the horizon. It cast an unusual stain on the pristine sky. After all, storm season wasn't expected for another few months. Before long, wind unleashed its fury like a battle cry. Rain started hammering the floating docks, and drifters had to moor their houses in haste before the first wave flooded the bay. It was, by all accounts, the most fantastic storm. One which would be remembered as the Great Battle. As all were running for safety, a few heroes remained, standing strong against the thundering sky. They were known as the Tidal Blades, elite guardians of the floating islands. For 200 years, generations upon generations of Tidal Blades kept the city safe and prosperous. They patrolled the reef barrier day and night, keeping all horrors from the ocean at bay. But this storm was like nothing the city had ever encountered. 
Despite their incredible skills, the tidal blades were no match for the endless hordes of sea monsters invading the reef that day. The higher council was summoned. There was one desperate measure that could save the city, but it came at a terrible price. As the Arcanists sent the Tidal Blades away with the precious Hyperloom, their hearts grew heavy with sorrow. For as they watched the fold successfully deploy in a blinding spark of light, they knew that the city was saved, but the Tidal Blades were no more. It has been 15 years since the storm. The air is warm, and the sky is sparingly painted with immaculate clouds. Laughs and cheers erupt from the local restaurants and racing tracks. The city of Naviri has never been so beautiful and vibrant. A magnificent floating statue has been erected near the Citadel of Time to commemorate the Tidal Blade's sacrifice. The protective barrier known as the Fold is still standing and has made the lagoon as safe as it could ever be. From the scattered reefs to the wayward sea, it blocks the horizon like a huge, glitching glacier, both a gift and a curse. A brilliant display of experimental time magic, but also an unstable, untested last stand against the horrors of the deep. As of late, more and more monsters have started to break through, sometimes weirdly mutated or possessing abilities never seen before. There is even a rumor that the Arcanists are considering resurrecting the Lost Order of the Tidal Blades. They need only a new generation of dreamers daring to be heroes. Every Navirian remembers the gigantic cloud. Every Navirian Slow down, Fenton. Why do you always have to run in everywhere? We gotta get ready. The relay race is today. Huh. Relay race? Sounds yeah. dangerous today? and not worth our time. It's today. We gotta make this money, you know. Can I help Bull, right? Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just in it to rivet. it. As always. Really? Really? Again? Why do you, handle why do you insist you? on making those jokes? He, he always says that, and I, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't work. <laughs> right. What's that in your hand, Fenton? Well, that's the relay race I was talking about. We could really uh, make some money this way, you know? It's a good idea, Oh, there's I money? Think. Well, okay, then. How much? Uh, I don't know. You, you read it. What's it say? Uh, shit, that's a lot. Okay, uh, this could, this could really turn our lives around, guys. Wait, wait, let me see it. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, show them, show them. Oh, that's a lot of shells. A half a billion? Oh, wow. I don't know why uh, everyone is that so what that number is? I, buddy. Look, why I can't even read the shells? that far. Well, why do we care about the shells? There's so much we can do with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How long have you been here? Where did he come from? I've been here all the time. He just shows up places, haven't you noticed? I can never really keep track. Pretty useful. Should teach us how to do it sometime. Is yeah. the ship ready for a relay race? Do we even what? need a ship for this relay race? Um, who do you think you're talking to? Uh, I know exactly who I'm talking to, and that's why I'm asking! Yes, we'll need a ship for the relay race, of course. Is it oh, ready? the ship was ready for the relay race. Did you finish painting HodgePodge on the side of it yet? I'm not convinced that that's the name that we need to go with. Okay, let's hear your other suggestions, Kel. Yeah. Oh, wait, okay. I mean, what relay uh, race I just tied? arrived? Uh, there's, uh, the anglerfish, 
Uh, there's the Glob Glob. Uh, I mean, I feel like I've had plenty of great names. The Glob Glob? I thought we agreed on hodgepodge you, you, like a week I ago. Like yeah, I thought so too. Yep. Hey. Hodgepodge, yep. We definitely I don't chose remember. the name hodgepodge. Okay, well that's four against one. I mean, I like fine. I'll paint it. So, since I just arrived and don't know anything about it, what is it we're talking about? Well, we're talking about a relay race. Oh. We're gonna be winning a lot of shells. That's right. right. There's actually enough shells that um, maybe it could help you go to school there, Bull. That's what I was thinking. Well, I mean, I want to go to school and study, but that's a lot of shells, and I'm sure we could use those shells for other things. Ah, uh, well, what do I care? I got everything I need right here. That's right. It's all for you, buddy. Well, I've got everything I need, my friends. Ah, but also we want to go. You to go. We want you to go to school. Okay, that was nice of you, but we want you to go to school because we care about you. Okay. Okay. If I can study, then maybe I can get really good at traveling through the fourth dimension, and and then I can help. You can. I don't even know what that means. Oh. Yeah, I neither do I. What are you talking about? It's my chronic energy. And you travel through. You might think of it as, oh, time travel. It's not really. Well, I'm not lost, lost. but that's okay. Hey, um, I suppose I should mention that in case everybody's still worried about going to the race, because it's a big deal. But if we could go, maybe I could find out what happened to your ancestors back then. People lost in the fold, maybe. We could find out. Uh, yeah. The past is the past is the past. No, hold on. Hold on a second. I, I would like to know what happened to Great Uncle Gob. Okay? Don't you want to know what happened? I know you want to no. know what happened. No, I, I like don't want to know. Wanna know. The only thing we should be focusing on is the race. Speaking of... I'd love to know what your hideout looks like. Can you describe together what everyone would see as you guys are standing here talking to each other? Well, I know what my workshop looks like. Well, we should mention, I mean, I don't know if there was anyone watching us right now through perhaps some sort of far-seeing ability, which if you travel through multiple dimensions, including oh, the fourth, you can't- There he goes again. What I mean to say is that we should probably say the big part that we're in a cave, because they wouldn't know. We're, we're in a cave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are in a cave. We are in a cave. On, on the side of a mountain, cliff. Would but we can see out. Yes, oh. kind of like a cliff with a big, a cave with a big opening cliffside thing we can see out because it, it's exactly what we wanted. Sort of like a picture window, but there's yeah. no window. It's just open space. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would like to talk about some of that space, you know, just a little bit, uh, Lockety, because uh, your microns have been encroaching in my workspace far too often. Well, well, they're not... Well, you have a wonderful workspace, and I wanted to put my little space right next to yours, but they're not my microns. The microns are everywhere. They're just... Well, I don't know what to call them. Whatever your stuff is. There's books, and there's all, all kinds of weird things flying around. Yes. It's, I don't it's know. Like, Sometimes I, th I thought one of them was a fly. I almost ate it. Oh, yes. no, you wouldn't have wanted to eat that. That would have been a bad idea. Bull, yeah, I'll tell you why. You, you can... Stomach ache. You can, uh, you can hang out in, in my training pit. Oh, your training pit is very impressive. I've never seen so many training dummies made out of such, ooh, everyday things. It, it works. It works wonders. I know you don't like to train, but I mean, ooh. you just want to sit down there and watch me train and, and then also tell me if I should do something else. 
better when I'm punching things and, and maybe also give me advice on life and maybe teach me how to read numbers. That oh, would I be... would do that, but if you want someone to give you advice on how to punch things better, well, that's Velia's. Well, that's her. Hello! I forget that's sometimes. What I, I like to punch things. You don't okay, need Okay, then you weapons. can come down there, too. Weapons are completely unnecessary for almost that's, any situation. I, that's that not true. False. Oh, it's nope. this. Nope. This Why would you put yourself you. at that a That is a lie. Because carrying a weapon is in itself a threat. Exactly. If you threaten them, maybe they'll just go away. Or maybe if you make friends with them, then they'll be your friend and they'll fight on your side. Look, this, look at the sword. Do you think like anyone would... Oh, this is broken. Actually, I'll just put that back. Forget I about mean, that sometimes. probably kill somebody with this. But still, the point be, if you want to learn to punch things better, I can teach you. Okay. Completely okay. unnecessary. Well, um, if you want, um... We're getting a little, this argument happens all the time between you two, but if you come to my little part of the cave, uh, we have a nice little mat made out of uh, reeds and my little bonsai tree and a little water sort of pool, and you could sit there and you could meditate with me if you wanted, and then everyone would be calm and it would be all right. You know well, what? Did you, Make did sure you get nobody it? sits on that, please. Don't sit on that engine. I'm still working on it. I already sat on it yesterday. I know you did. That's why I just... Never mind. I have mind. to put my butt on everything. That's just how it works. You know this. We've been <laughs> brothers forever. It's since true. I... It's true and disgusting. We've all known this about you since the day we met. And it is a yeah. problem, Fenton. I don't know why I do it. I feel like well, you should give I've it a name. I've had to buy six different pillows Ooh. this month alone. Well, and by I don't... buy, I mean procure. Don't tell me when you buy new things. Just say, I got this. I found this old thing. It's old. It, yeah, you don't have to put your I butt on it, it Fenton. Just See, say it. I think I you could say, I think maybe I have a problem. People, I don't. Well, but if you maybe people would That's respond That's how people better. get yellow eye. If you said <laughs> Fenton booty attack, and then everyone would know that you were sitting on something, and then it might be more impressive. It's... A problem. Maybe you have I to can't. charge it what up. What if we got you a special Fenton chair that's only yours, and if your butt needs to go somewhere, it can go in the Fenton chair? Can you tell me it's new every time I need to sit down? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fenton, think... you can sit on my things anytime you want. Oh. Even better. Well, did you get any flowers? And by get, I mean procure any flowers from my parents' house recently? Yes. <laughs> We your should go get some more. Your parents were talking about you. What'd they say? Oh, well, more like they were talking about that fellow they want you to marry. Ah, I don't want to hear we it. We do uh, not speak we, his name in the no, game. That is rule not. number two. Yeah, I don't, rule two. Is there any well, way this conversation can happen in a different space? Why does everybody always have to come near my workshop? I'm it's, very. Try, I'm trying to concentrate. Well, we can go over to my obstacle course if you want. Well, that's so fun. That sounds great. Look, Kelp, you're always in your workshop. It's the only place we can find you. That's why we talk in here. Well, oh, I really think you should try the obstacle course. I I know it's not your thing, but let's face obstacle it, you're not course. exactly. See, the Jacko most knows what, he, what, what, he, what he's talking about. Fenty. Fine. Yes. Could I have a hug for no reason at all? Oh, sh sure. Bring it in, buddy. Come on. Okay. Yes. Just there do me go. a favor and, and don't get hurt. You know. Yeah. Well, I don't know why. Th I'm just going to keep patting you f for okay. a while. You just tell me when to stop, okay? Okay. Right about, ooh, 13 seconds. <laughs> okay. Now. Done? All right, yes. good. Also duck. Yep. Yep. Thing fell off the shelf. <laughs> it How always happens. Know? What fell off the shelf? Nothing. Okay, speaking of, you guys are more than welcome to hang out in the dance studio area, but I need things off the floor in there, okay? Don't bring your stuff. Don't leave it lying around. I don't want anything in any of the floor space. Got it? We need room to move around in there. Ooh. Okay. How many things right, in there can I weapons? sit on? I don't go anywhere without my sword. You know that. Just keep it with you. Don't set it on the ground and you're fine. That's fine. 
Yeah, but some of those dance moves you try to get us to do don't really work. You're Leave wearing sword swords. Outside. Oh, fair. I have to limber up for dance moves. Ooh. Ooh. But you don't need you to go. stretch. You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I never you stretch. should definitely stretch. Stretching. Well, always stretch for dancing always. and mm-hmm. for punching. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we're going to do this race, and I just wanted to ask. Oh, good. We're talking about the race? Great. Right, but I almost I mean, forgot about that. Yes, Kelp, we're talking about the race. Calm Lillian, down, please. Your family always wins this race. How do you feel? I mean, do you, would you have to, I, uh, how do you feel? Well, we're, I mean, I'm gonna win it. Hmm. We're, I'm gonna win it. So, I guess I feel. Mm. Excited? Uh, I guess I feel, uh, mm, like I'm gonna beat everybody else. Wait, hold on. Do you really think that we're gonna win? They're gonna cheat, of course. Who cares? I don't care. They can cheat all they want. I can still beat them. We have a counter cheater, Jacko. He can take care of it. It's true. Wait, you guys yeah, are okay true. with me cheating this time? No, no, no cheating. I I, well, look, I'm trying to build okay. a bridge over here and after that last incident, you know? What does a bridge have to do with a race? Are we going under the bridge? Over it, into the territory of anti-cheating. We gotta employ Jacko's methods. Well, it's actually exactly. really a coral If bridge. I cheat and they're cheating, it cancels each other out. That's how it works. Then it's a fair fight. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, sometimes but, things don't make sense. Go. Well, but here's the thing: we what? can't cheat this time because that's the whole thing, right? With their, with your ancestor, they said that your ancestor cheated. That the fair waters are cheaters, and we have to make sure they don't no, think that. This don't time. you dare say that ever again. Actually. I did say that, you're right. Um, I, mean, I know it's not true, so we have to be really careful to make sure that nobody thinks that this time. It doesn't matter what what anybody says about anybody else. The only thing that matters if is if, if I win the race and and we don't cheat. Um, we, because we're a team. Oh, All of us okay, together. Kelp, we won't cheat. Yep, no cheating Why over here. Working? No, nothing. I just have something in my eye. I don't think that you do. Oh, yeah. We got, we're getting yellow you eye. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Fenton, you gave yourself yellow eye? Did you yeah, sit on yourself? That doesn't work. I'm very flexible. That's why I don't need to stretch. Oh. All right. Hey, uh... But listen, if, if we're gonna do this, I, I know Benton and Alp, you guys are frogs, but could we at least like look before we leap? <laughs> Make a plan. Seconded, seconded on the looking no. before leaping, Fenton. Plans I never work I out. Look, and then I navigate in midair. That's how it works. Exactly. Yeah, that's never been an issue in the past. It, it, no, it hasn't. Never it really has, has any problems. Uh-huh. What's Remember I'll the tell last you what time has been. Hard. I'll tell you what has been an issue, is when we make a plan, and then nothing happens that we plan out. So we end up doing, you know, something else anyway. Maybe, maybe this time it'll be different. Maybe if we know what kind of things might happen to ruin the plan, that maybe we could, we could do it differently this time and then everything will work out and nothing bad will happen and no one will get hurt and nothing bad will happen at all at the end of the race afterwards what? that's uh, never gonna happen i've got well, an idea sometimes you're talking crazy how about well, i steal their plans and then we just figure out what to do to beat them that way but that's under the assumption that they wrote it down I guess everybody does write down their plans, right? I mean, I do. They're just pictures, paint paintings. 
This is like also this one right here. That's not writing. Is, is that the manual for for my set of tools? I made it myself. No, See? you drew on the back of my manual. I need that. Whoopsie. It's it's got artwork from Fenton Fairwater on it. It's worth something someday. Keep that. I have a feeling there's there a lot go, of things bro. in here with artwork by Fenton Fairwater. What else did you draw on? But 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 look at the cave painting Fenton did. It's beautiful. It's that's, that's all of us. That's mm -hmm. all of us. Standing together. He even included the broken sword. Why do I look so grumpy? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look so grumpy? I, I, I don't look think like he that. looks grumpy enough. I'm just gonna fix, make these eyebrows a little more hanged. There we go. <laughs> Okay, that's better. <laughs> You're my it best It does friends. look like you. Is yeah, that call. better? That looks nothing like me. <laughs> hey, Velia, you don't think... This, your your parents aren't going to make you... Um, well, they're not going to make you go and, and race with your team, right? The, the Moonwake team. You can stay with us. If they can find me, they might try, but I'm excited. For, I'll do anything. You know what? Maybe I'll go with them and sabotage theirs because I'm so tired of all the fame that comes with the, the, the Moonwake name being on top nowadays. I would rather the Fairwaters take back over. That was Now that's better. what I'm talking about. That's there we go. Right there. I like it. You had me at sabotage. What time does this thing start? <laughs> oh, is it tomorrow? Uh, I mean, I don't today, know what time it is. Actually, today, you, today, you have about an hour to make the registry window. I knew for a week. I look at the paper. Today, oh, I was off by one day. Ooh. It's you knew today? for a week. Why didn't you tell us? I sat on it. <laughs> That makes sense. Jacko, I'm gonna need you to steal, I mean, find a bunch of things. Okay? Okay, give me a uh, list. I all got right. This. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, it's today. It's today. Uh, oh, I, I, do I need a whole pontoon? I uh, might need a whole pontoon. Can no, you, you find a whole pontoon? pontoon? You only got need a half it. a pontoon. Yeah, no problem. We, we Just got everything half a we need, right? Half a pontoon. I'll get a whole one. You can cut well, it in half. I can help carry things. Look, it only says Hodge. Sit, sit on things, too. I can sit on stuff. You keep interrupting me. I keep going to paint, and then I find out that Fenton's putting his butt on things, and then there's microbes all over the workshop. How am I supposed to paint when I've got all these things going on? We can't race a boat called Hodge. Yeah, that's what we I said agree. Now. We well, should, in well. fact, I, I still think we should go with the, the glob glob. Okay, glob glob it is. What do you lot think? Glob Glob or Hodgepodge? I While they're think choosing. That it's just Hodge in the end. <laughs> just Hodge in the end. <laughs> Can you describe this ship so that they know what they're looking at? Because you guys have built this yourselves together. Well, one of you may have put in more work than the rest, but. Mm -hmm. And is really agitated at the fact that I'm saying you all did it together, but. You know, it's okay. It was a team uh, effort. I was there. He sat on things. Cal, did you install my quadruple harpoon shooter? No, because we don't have a tr quadruple harpoon shooter. How am I supposed to install something we don't have? Mm -hmm. I can install a bathroom. Look, I, I, I'll tell you what. I, I do have a harpoon shooter, okay? But it's okay. not a quadruple harpoon shooter. All right, did you make it like black and then you had like the poison uh, vat the next what? to it? Poison what? The poison, yeah, like the, the green vat stuff. of poison that I can dip the harpoons in. I don't, Jacko, Can't I don't know why it's so hard for him to just a bag or something that. and dip, dip the harpoon Fine. in? Fine, I'll get a bag of poison. All right. I didn't uh, know it came in bags. Well, uh, I don't know what kind of way they sell poison? I, I, don't, I don't have any poison. Well, anyway, uh, there's a lot of uh, 
palm fronds and things because everybody says the sun keeps getting in their eyes so they want you know some palm fronds to come down and and uh it's kind of a, a longer type uh ship and uh it's got like uh it's got the two uh pontoons on either side and there's nets that are hung up so that you know people can sleep when they're trying to stay out of my way and uh there's a lot of uh old driftwood and things that we've collected i think what else do you uh, guys think yes. there are places for me to do push-ups it's we, we have our own gym uh, on I remember ship. you only have on so much ship. room on your raft and what you say yeah, is don't. on the raft is going to be permanently on the raft lots for of the ways rest to of... hold the ship down <laughs> that's not what's in there <laughs> that's a horrible plan <laughs> what? Benton, we told you we're not doing that I, I wove some flowers into the sides so that it looked nice when we were traveling what kind of flowers I helped yeah oh Okay, so this is sort of funny. It's it's my idea of a joke. Vili and I thought this would be funny, but we haven't told anyone yet. We have okay. kelp in there. <laughs> we stuck some kelp in the ship. Right, because kelp, fair water, because because kelp, because kelp. Right, it it's a joke. You see, ben, so Ben's literal. eyes would would go walleye right now. Wait, I don't get it. Did you no. start painting the word glob after the word Hodge? <laughs> I was just anticipating the choice. So are Hodge glob. Hodge glob. You're not gonna we have time have... to change it before yeah, the race. That's the name. Hodge glob. All right, fine. Hodge so glob we'll it go is. With the Hodge guess. glob. Uh, okay, who cares? Hodge glob it is. It's what it was. Uh, so we've got two pontoons on either side with nets and things that are hung up, and there's mm -hmm. a harpoon launcher, mm -hmm. and one. uh, yeah, just the one because mm -hmm. a quadruple one is just too much. It's too much. Uh, it's just you know, that's crazy. Who who puts four of them on there? Uh, someone who's and, prepared, mm -hmm. and that goes way slower. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've got that, and uh, uh, there's a there's a, of course, a, a convenient bathroom that had been, just has a hole really for uh, people to but use. There was much with, debate over whether you. or not this bathroom existed. I understand. Is that correct? I wanted it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But there's a curtain, that is and not at least true. you can sit if you're Fenton. Right. Fenton, you actively argued against this bathroom. It's a very important part of this ship. It's gonna come in handy, I'm telling you. It's it's kind of like uh, elongated, you know. So like, uh, it it, uh, it it's pretty it's pretty quick, but sometimes it can be hard to turn. Mm. That's really the only problem. So I have to get everybody to lead on one side, and and then then sometimes we can go up on the one pontoon to make a really sharp turn. About how big is this raft boat? Help. Well, <clears throat> they keep telling me to make it bigger, but uh, I think if we go smaller, then it's easier to maneuver. But it's already kind of hard, so... Uh, well, it's mm, maybe about uh, 15 feet long. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Which isn't too big by boat oh, standards. It's very small. It's that very small. It'd be pretty cramped if we had to s spend some time on it. That's why we've water. got the nets. We can all sleep like in hammocks. Mm. Yeah. On top of each other. Um, yeah, I'm used I, to that. I mean, I don't mean to say anything, but I'm a goffin, and so, you know, uh, being a fish person, I really enjoy being in the water. Is there a, is there like a yeah, hammock either. underneath the boat that you get into? No. Or like on the side? That's very cool. Is there I, like I want one, I want one, that's... I want one. <laughs> well, you, can you even breathe underwater? No. Yeah, I'm a nah guy. I can't. Wait, you can't breathe underwater, Bull? No. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I, did I. Um, I sort of am not really good at swimming. Like all of my family's really good at swimming. And I'm not good at swimming. You're good at a lot of other things, Bill. 
Yeah. 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 Thank you. Is there anything else on this raft before you enter mm-hmm. into this competition? Yes. I think there's room for anything else. No, the most important thing is there. Don't oh, think wait. I didn't see it, Fenton. I saw it. Oh, you mean the painting? Yes, the painting. The good. I didn't luck- think anyone noticed. Uh, yeah, it's in that little. It's tucked underneath the the, the front there. And no, I didn't think anyone noticed. I noticed. It's oh, beautiful. thank you. I'm glad. You notice everything. I do. I do notice everything, but it's all right. Other than that, I, I made this thing as fast as I could, which is probably a bit reckless, uh, because the engine is probably put together with, you know, a few different pieces, but, but I can make it work. Does it go fast? Oh, it goes fast. Oh, okay. I mean, we, we don't always end up with everything back on the ship, you know, whatever we do a lap, but, uh, you know, that just makes us lighter. We go faster. So right? I can always can. get more things. It's no problem. If we win this race, Velia, all that pressure that's been put on you and your family for being winners all the time will be lessened. And maybe we can erase that sort of lie they said about, well, about the fair waters and me. Maybe I'll be able to get enough shells to go become an engineer so that I can, I can do that thing I always wanted to do in Jacko. Yeah, I what like that. What is it that you've always wanted to do? Me? Mm-hmm. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, it's okay. I don't know if they can hear you. I can, though, but it's, um... You know, engineers, they make all of the things that, that help the city, and they made the fold. And my very best friends, Jacko, all of them that... Jacko's parents are in the fold somewhere. I know they're not dead. I know they're still there. And and if if I can figure out how they made it, maybe I can figure out a way to get Jacko's parents back because he doesn't say anything about it, but I know it really hurts him that they're gone. And I know they're not dead. I know they're trapped somewhere. And if I can just figure out, if I can figure out how they made it, I can figure out how to bring his parents back to him. That's what I want to do. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very nice. You won't be saying that for too much longer. What? (laughs) Oh. Race, everyone. Uh, We all have good reasons to go, and I think it'll be important. Uh, And I... It'll be great. I agree. It will be great. So, uh... Why don't you guys just make sure you've got everything and I'm just going to finish tweaking a little bit more on the boat uh, and make sure that the engine works. Okay. Sounds good to me. I mean, I have everything I need right here. It's me. It's all I need. And the, and the sword, of course. Okay, but we also hey, can need can you bring your rigid- chair, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll bring that. That's pretty important. We also need to register. Do you think you can handle that, Fenton? I don't want to go into town because if anybody sees me, they're going to be like, why aren't you going to be on your family's boat? And I don't just don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to stay right here until it's time to go. I can... I can do that. Mm, you take mm. Bull with you. you have, yeah. Yeah, you have about That's a half a good an idea. hour to finish the registration. And then, like, you also have to bring the boat and get ready. Okay. All right. Any last finishing touches need to be done on the boat. You, you three, two, two of you are going to go register. Is that right? Okay. Me and Bull. Jocko, yep. okay. Jocko needs to go and get I have parts. to go procure some things. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah. I'll help you with that. Oh, okay. okay. Jocko, don't forget the bag of poison. Mm. I think that's bag what he was poison. referring to, maybe. Mm. Oh. And a pontoon. Maybe two. Yeah. And, and uh, Don't forget the pontoon. For no particular reason, Jacko, I'm just going to say that if you thought about maybe while you were out there, 
uh, getting, if you see, for example, a small uh, crystal about so big that you just sort of randomly see, you should maybe pick it up and bring it with us. Okay. If you just see one, just randomly in a moment while you're out, if it just comes across your path, I would say pick it up and not not pick it up. Got it. Okay, Fenton, let's go register. Let's get out of here. Mm. All right, who are we staying with? Should we go with you two who are going to go register? Or should we go with Jacko? Uh, come along with us to right. register. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. Perfect. Hey. All right, so there is a uh, pulley system, correct? For how yes. you get down? Why don't you tell right. us how that works? Because I, I think last time we checked, there's a way for you guys to get up, but once you bring this ship down, that's it, right? We've got ropes. Yeah, for, y- for you rope. for you guys well, to climb up the side of I'm, this mountain that you're on. I'm not very good at climbing, though. It just... Uh, I can carry you, because uh, uh, I'm very strong. You are, but I've been working on a trick. Oh, I right. like tricks. I feel like I can actually use, if I really concentrate and I focus, uh, using this micronic focuser that, that Jacko acquired for me somehow, I can actually move myself through the fourth dimension. So rather than having to climb up those ropes, which as you know, I always keep falling down about three feet up. I can actually just move myself through the fourth dimension and not have to climb those ropes anymore. Oh, we should lower wow. those though. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. Uh, can you, can I also travel with you as well? Or is it, Maybe how does when it work? I get better. I'm not good oh. enough yet, I have to practice. Okay. All right. Well, but, I, I believe in you. Thanks. So you should climb down those ropes, and I'm gonna just try my new practice because I I'm not I'm not good at the rope thing. That's hard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to wait for you at the bottom or? Yes, just in case it doesn't work and I fall. Okay. I'll catch you. Okay. Here I Is go. Our, I'll see you later. This Is this our first roll? Um. It's actually one of my abilities, and I don't think I have to roll because Damn that's it. kind of how it works. All right. Um, you know, because we are, uh, in this game, we are pretty exciting in this way. Mm-hmm. So I have to go and spend some cost and in my intellect. That's right. And, then, and I take out my little micronic focuser that was acquired for me by Jacko. Probably, let's just not say how. Mm. I believe in you, buddy. And a blue light sort of shines out of myself and also the area around me. I pull it from, well, from the air and I close my eyes and I leap out of the cliff just into space. And when I do, I jump and I land all 40 feet below as if there was no space between where I was at and where I landed. Oh, ooh, that worked. I did it. Oh, I'll have to spend some of my my uh, points, my intellectual points. Uh, and how many do you have pool. total, just so those of oh. us watching? Well, so we all have three pools, you know, might, speed, and intellect. And mm-hmm. uh, I, I, I have twenty intellect. Well, now just, now just nineteen at the moment. It takes a bit out of me to do that sort of thing. Because you, in order to do these things, you have to really focus and really expend who you are. Uh, I, I have twenty, which is really good. Well, nineteen. I don't tell anyone, but I, I only have nine with might. I'm not so good with, you know. They call me bull because uh, I'm big, but uh, I'm not I'm not good at physical things so much, you know. But I can do that. I, I've got I've got a mind. Yeah, are you still climbing down? No. I'm here. It was uh, really fast. 
Whoa. Nice. I was distracted. So we should probably go register. I, I have a question, though. Yeah. Y you know, you you, you dif disappeared for a second, and then you were here, and that... I, I don't... I'm... Uh, okay, I, my brain's starting to hurt. Never mind. No, listen, listen. Let's walk. We'll walk and talk. And see, here's what happens. I don't so know if I can walk about, and think. No, no. We think of things in three dimensions, right? But there's four dimensions. The fourth dimension is... Um, you might think of it as time, but it's actually not time at all. It's just a fourth dimension. And then you can actually move yourself on that line. You could be from there to here, like I was. I just moved myself from there to here along the fourth dimension. So it looked like it took no time. But when I, I was in there, yeah, and then you can also- I understand. You, good. I'm so glad. When you get to your registration, um, there's a long line. You're probably there listening to him explain this for about, I'd say, 30 minutes. Oh, I was thinking 32 minutes and 43 seconds before oh. the thing happened. Okay. I, I will say yes, and that means oh. when you approach, um, the woman there says, Oh, you've just missed registration by 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> That's a joke, right? You're not... Oh, come on, two minutes is nothing. Well, I mean, we have rules and we have them in place for a reason, and that's so that, you know, it's fair for everyone. Oh, okay, uh... It's true. Oh, come here, come here. Uh, we, we need to go talk over here for a second, and we'll be right back, okay? okay. Sure. I'm not I gonna change my mind, though. She's not gonna change her mind, though. So here's what I think. You use that little... Uh, thing, right? Can you you can time can you time travel? <laughs> um. Oh. Uh. It's only two minutes. I mean, what can it do? So, um, let me think. At this point in time, no, I can't time travel like that. Not wait. Yes. So you Five can. seconds. Right now. Go. Nope. It's thirty-four seconds. Wait. Yes. I have to remind myself. I think it'll be... <sighs> Here's what it is. You're gonna have to convince her. Mm. But I think I can help. Okay. You try, and we'll see, and I'll... You try. I'll, I'll concentrate. All right. I'll go talk mm. and, and see what she's all about. I'll just walk over here. Hi, um, I'm, how's... Uh, I can't change my mind, unfortunately. I don't care how nice you are or if you have any sweets. Well, uh, what if, uh, we had a lot of sweets? What kind of sweets? Uh, one moment. And Fenton just kind of walks backwards awkwardly to, uh, to Bull. What kind of sweets do we have? <sighs> All right, this is how you have to think about it. If you were going to go and pick, which sweets would you pick? Oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll be choices. right back. And then Fenton okay. just walks awkwardly back to her. If you had a choice, what kind of sweets would you like? If you had a choice, just saying. Uh, the Hypothetically. So oh, yeah, of course. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of the, uh, salted sea chips, actually. Okay. Chocolate I'll be covered. right back. And then he walks backwards awkwardly again to, to Bull. Hey, uh, salted, uh, sea chips. I would like to spend one of, uh, this actually, because I've got edge and intellect, I don't have to spend a point, but I can see multiple possibilities of what could happen in the future yeah, for can. the next action. Mm hmm Mm. And um, I actually think that salted sea chips are not the right choice. That I is actually correct. think it's not that it's there's a taffy, and that's the one you should use or, to suggest. Or he can drop his name. Oh, I'm afraid that's actually the one. Um, you should probably drop your name. I don't want to play the sympathy card. It's not... I'm just saying that's, uh... 
if you go with the sea chip, she's going to say no. If you drop your name, well, chances are much better. And he, uh, Fenton pats, uh, Bull on the shoulder and says, Okay, if you say it's true, then I'll do it. I'll do whatever you say. I'll be back. And, uh, Fenton walks back to her. You have an yeah. asset for this next action. Yes. <clears throat> I, I really can't do anything about the registration. Well, uh, have you heard of the Fairwaters, miss? Absolutely. Unfortunately, they didn't sign up this year. Well, see, I'm, I'm Fenton. Fenton Fairwater. What? I'm Fenton Fairwater. The very one. Oh, and, uh... How do I know? Here, Oh, look at this sword, and he drops the broken sword onto the table in front of her. That's the sword, right? You've seen it before. Touch it. Pick it up. See if it's fake. She reaches her hand out. Gary, careful! <laughs> she, she was hovering and hesitating, and when he goes, careful, she jerks her hand back. Uh looks up at you, and you may roll now, but you have two assets, I believe. You have one from Troop and your sword. Okay. Now, how do I do the, uh, the asset thing? <laughs> this is Ooh. our first, this is our first roll. Yay! Um, teamwork. Yep, teamwork. So you will roll on your character sheet and roll 20, and there should be a pop-up that gives you the option to add assets. Okay. And this should be intellect, because you're trying to be charming. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so roll intellect, and then I'm gonna... Do I adjust the difficulty at this point? As well? I'd say three. A three? Yep. Yeah. And, uh... And one asset from your will reduce that difficulty to two, and then one asset from your sword will reduce it to one. Oh, but I think I you do. I think you do yeah. the difficulty, and then yeah, you first. just add that you've got assets, and it'll do the math for you. So do difficulty three and then add two assets. Okay. And with the difficulty three, you'd need to roll a nine or higher. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's, it's it's not asking me for the assets. Let's see. Oh really? No, it's just asking for effort, and that's it. Effort. Uh, if you click the if you click the gear on uh, your character sheet, you should see it. Uh, there it is. I just okay. tested. Don't pay attention. Oh, that, that was a geez. test. It was it a wasn't. test. Give that was me, me a heart attack. Our no, first that was, no, that was, was, uh, that was oh. a test. So assets weren't checked for me, so that's why. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> was a test. That was and then two assets, right? Mm -hmm. mm hmm That's right. Here we go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, I, I feel like I'd probably, it would probably be okay if I, I mean, you're, you're fair water, uh, and I, I think a lot of people would be, uh, you know, that's far more entertaining, no offense, uh, than not having you in the uh, race, the re okay, sure. All and, right. Uh, so, the name of your ship, please? Uh, it is the... Oh, God, he help. It's the Hodge Glob. Hodge Glob. Okay, got it. And what is the size of your ship? What's the number? I don't... 15. Okay. And first names of your crew. You do it. I'm scared now. Oh, no, you shouldn't be scared. You, you're, a, you're a fair water. Go ahead. No, I... I did. Yeah, fine. Um... It's Velia Moonwake. Oh, Jacko. Said, oh. oh, oops. Just Velia. Velia M. Not oh, necessarily. It was a bad a idea for me oh, to it's say. Fine. No, no, keep going. It's it's fine. Go on. Are you gonna Jacko? Are you gonna go back five seconds and <laughs> prevent him from saying that? Or yes. prevent me from saying? <laughs> yeah, just, okay. just gonna be like, I'm I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you, and you didn't listen. Just, just like whoop. Just, <laughs> 
five seconds. Okay, just sit, and then you what? Do you just like nudge him in the in the no, gills or something? He says Velia, and right when he says Velia, I nudge him right before v- he says Velia. Uh, mm. uh, okay. And Jacko and uh, Kelp Fairwater, my brother. Okay, Kelp. And then me, Finn. And, and then uh, Wakati. Wakati. Me. Okay. Perfect. Um, do you do you have a map? Actually, you know what? I'll just give you the. I'll just give you everything. Okay, here's the map. Are you familiar with uh, the the race? Have you ever done it before? No. Okay. Well, let me explain. It's a relay race. You're going to go around and pick up a specific artifact from six areas of your choosing. You're going to have to root the um, expedition yourself. And you only have to choose six from this list. Some are worth more points than others. I've included them on the map here for you. So you've got Binion Ridge, Angler's Cove, Droska Ring, Mud Flats, Lamb Collective, Fury Isles, Band Clam, blah, blah, blah. It goes on. And then, of course, the Fold, which is worth the most points. But, you know, no, no one's probably going to do that. There you go. So choose your route and be back here in an hour. In an hour. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I, I don't remember anything she just said. I do. I've heard it's... it twice. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, you're very nice, and also, uh, it's gonna work out that thing you're worried about. It's gonna work out. I saw. Thank you. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Bye. And she just watches after them for a bit as they walk away. And now we are going to switch. Jacko. And V, what you, what are you two up to? What we doing? All right, we so are. I figure um, you probably still have that key second floor of your family's little uh, manor. Are yes. you breaking into your family's house right now? I feel like I do this routinely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we'll start there. I we'll happen- actually start with wh- what does the manor look like? It doesn't have to be super long, but just so that we get an idea of how fucking rich you are. So it was. Well, we're, uh, I guess you're well, not that rich anymore. No, I'm not personally. <laughs> uh, so I would say that it's got um, it's white, like it's like pure, like shiny, like the, like the bleached coral white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And it's in a row of houses that belong to the great victors in the races and the the cool stuff. So it's like one of a series of mansions is built into one of the sides of one of the cliffs. And uh, there are flowers everywhere. My, we, I love flowers and um, we have planted just gardens, but the gardens are all like hanging. So they're all, there's not like a lot of grounds cause it's built into the side of a cliff, but all the uh, vines and flowers and all that grow up. So there's flowers along the sides of the walls and with all this beautiful white stone gleaming through. And it's fairly large. It's not overwhelmingly large, but it's it's big. It's pretty big. Um, I also see like maybe a fence around the front, like a, like a raw iron or metal, maybe like a gold metal fence. Yeah, I'd say. And there's two, two floors, has a balcony on the top floor and then like a large like porch along the front of it. And then the back of it cuts into the mountainside. As you are approaching, how do you feel? Is it um, weird? Yeah, I feel weird. Um, there's a, a number. I'm not too worried about being noticed. There's a number of Nagai in the area, so it's like my, won't, my hair won't stand out or anything like that. I feel like I don't want to run into anybody from my family, and I... Um, but I also feel maybe a sense of like homesickness a little bit because I did love them. So it's hard to to be at odds with. So I guess there's like a, a twinge of nostalgia and maybe that feeling of like, boy, I'd really like to sit at the dinner table again someday. That'd be nice. But for the time being, I would take all their shit because they were mean to me. They wanted right. me to do things I didn't want to do. All right, perfect. What are we stealing? What are we stealing? I didn't understand any of that. Uh, well, we are going to be stealing some poison 
and uh, I guess we're stealing uh, some supplies for the for the raft as well. Oh, sure. Um, Bull had a little room that he used to put things in when he would help tend the gardens. Do, do you think there might be some in there? There's not going to be poison in there, but supplies, yeah. All right, let's go around the back and go into the little the garden shack. So Bull does the gardening for the family or is one of the gardeners uh, for the family and has for a while. So I love this idea. Are we saying that he frequently will leave a stash of supplies for somebody to come pick up for you, Jacko, to come pick up Yeah. for your hideout? That's yeah. wonderful. What kind of supplies do you think that he provides? Definitely food. 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 Yes, it can there's be more tons than of just food. food. Um, uh, things for me to sell to uh, people that I know. Oh, okay. Things that maybe won't be missed. Yeah. Bull, come in here if you think there's anything that you wouldn't do, okay? Otherwise, Well, I yeah. know we mentioned poison, and I don't like to poison yeah. people. I think that's mean, but yeah, that's there are a lot of flowers here, and mm -hmm. I bring and I keep flowers and I imagine that somebody like Jacko could take those flowers and turn them into things that might be bad for people if they ate them. Do you think, Jacko, do you know what you're doing with flowers? Is it you and V that uh, do this or is it just you that does this? Would V do uh, this? I know the flowers and I would know that there are, well, I would want to know though, what do you need the poison for so bad? What is that? Again, what do you need the poison? Kill things that are gonna try to stop us from winning. Are you talking about monsters or are you talking about people? Is there a difference? Well, yes, I would have to say oh. there's a difference. I mean, here's the thing, right? I don't want any of you to end up in jail over this race. It's not that important. We can find shells for bull some other way if we need to. People mysteriously die in this race all the time. You think it's well, all been accidents? So there is poison, but then there's untraceable poison. And I'm not entirely sure my family has flowers that is, it would, could make poison that's entirely untraceable. But you know what? I they tell you what. I they've know got a room upstairs that has some things in it that are pretty untraceable. How do you know about that? How do you think? Did you follow me here? No. Then how? Look, it's, you know, you know what I get up to at night. I like to explore a little. I don't know what you get up to at night because you're usually missing, but okay. <sighs> yes, I have a key. Okay, but well. I'm not going in there. That's fine. Give me the key. I'll climb up this flower fence thing and... It's called a trellis. Sneak in there. You uncultured Whatever. swine. Okay. Here. Here's the key. So I'll give you the key. Thank you. You want me to watch out for you or something? If you want. Or do you want me to go and get stuff from the... from Bull's garden Yeah, shop? you do that. I'll do this. Okay. So what I'm hearing is that V knows the flowers and will identify them. Uh, and so maybe Bull doesn't necessarily know everything he's grabbing. He's just grabbing the purple ones or, you know, whatever in this side of the garden. So he, he will grab some of that and sneak in. So basically you're going to get, um, you know, like a crate or a couple of bags uh, full of supplies, which is like food that you can eat. Um, is it going to be smart food? Or is it snack food? Uh, so Velia is very like, she uses her body for everything that she does. So okay. it's, it's good food. Okay. She knows how to nourish herself. So she's going to be nourishing the rest of them, whether they like it or not. So okay. yes, there Perfect. will be okay, so it's good food. Very, you know, good food. Okay. That's good to know. Um, how many days worth do you think? Oh, did I see that on the pamphlet? Kind of, or well, we've done races in my family before, so I would have an idea of how much we would need. So I, I would think, say, yeah, you probably would pack three days worth, maybe four, and then the rest you catch as you go. 
Okay, I was going to say four, so that's perfect. perfect. We'll go with four four days worth of food. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm also going to see, so sometimes on the cliffs, it gets very, um, the weather is is nasty. Occasionally, Mm -hmm. we get nasty storms. So Mm -hmm. in here, there are also some rain ponchos. Okay. Um, So I will grab those. We're probably going to need something like that on the boat if we don't have them already. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I uh, maybe like some rope. I feel we we'll probably have those at the we probably have those so it's probably okay I'm um, going to make you an offer okay um, I will give you up to three different things that I think you should include um, but it will uh, allow me to have a GM intrusion at a later date mm, yes I'll take it okay how many would you like okay. how many things you can have up to three or up would you like three. to just buy one, see what it is, and then continue? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, we'll buy one. Okay. First one would be grappling hooks. That was what I was going to say. Yes. Grappling hooks with with ropes attached. Yep. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I should say things instead of... Yep. Yes. Do you want to say anything else or would you like to buy another one? Buy another one. Um, extra sales. Yes. We have in those in our gardening shack. I think you okay. would steal them probably from the house, whether it's like yeah. curtains from this mm. gigantic <laughs> ma- mansion or whatever you want to repurpose. But having an extra set of sails is probably a good idea in case they get damaged. Okay. We'll just okay. do those two things. Okay. So now I'm going to look through the flowers at the, that have been collected and put in here. Um, so I see some and there are... Uh, most of what we grow are these really pretty flower vines that are they've got pink flowers with white middles in them that are most of it but on the leeward side of the house there's like a shady spot where those things won't grow but what does grow there are these sort of darker flowers that are they look kind of the same but it's a subtle difference in the shade of pink so i'm rummaging through the collections of these pink flowers that bull has has grabbed and looking for wrong ones mixed in he probably i don't know if he would maybe make that mistake but i'll check and see yeah so mistakes i'll say i'll say no mistakes they're all the same they're all the same unless bull would you leave? I'm going to go on a limb here yes. and say he knows what your favorite flower is. So there's probably oh, one of those in there for you. Just for you. PB. Mm-hmm. Why did you say that out loud? What? I what was do you mean? Tr- Yes, of course I know her favorite flower. I also I know. know her favorite food. I know. But I didn't want you to let her know that I knew that. <laughs> she doesn't know. Okay. Okay, you didn't tell her. No, I would never. Okay, because that would be embarrassing, but I I do know her favorite flower, Mm -hmm. also her favorite snack food, and her favorite color, and uh, her favorite song. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to, I'm just going to go. Excuse me. Yep. There is an extra flower in there. It happens to be your favorite. And my favorite one happens to be a little bit dangerous. <laughs> okay, so, that's exciting. Which I know is the case, but I don't know that. Um, I don't. I don't know how to change it into something usable. But I uh, know that okay. it can be but poisonous. You know it's, uh, yes, dangerous. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Then uh, let's say that you have grabbed all the supplies from this garden shed or from wherever he places it. Jacko, you are sneaking upstairs. You're climbing up a vine into the second story. Trellis. Trellis. Oh, trellis, right. I'm on culture. Which would swine. be pretty easy. I'm <laughs> saying, you know. Yeah. Have, uh, I'm skilled in climbing mm-hmm. and stealth. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. It's like your number one thing, right? That you do. It's the stealthing and the stealing. That's the, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you feel coming into her house? Ah. Uh... I've definitely been here before more than once mm-hmm. to procure things. Yeah, but it's different and... now, right? Because she's kind of on the outs with her family. Do you feel yeah. responsible for that? Responsible for her being on the outs? Mm-hmm. I don't personally feel that way. No. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel 
like if uh, things were handled the way I wanted to, she she wouldn't be. But I also feel like us getting her away from them is probably a good thing. Okay. So then how would you describe how you feel when you step into the house and you're hearing people kind of like walk around and shuffle around and you're being discreet? Do you go into this kind of like hunter mode or is your heart racing? What is that like? Uh, I've been doing this for about 10, 12 years. So it's all routine for me uh, okay. at this point. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. Um, my heart does not race. Okay. I stay calm. Okay. Just out of curiosity, what would make your heart race? Something unexpected? Um, something really unexpected. Uh, things unexpected happen all the time when mm -hmm. you're trying to steal stuff. Yeah. You have so to be like, prepared for that. Something, something really unusual. Okay. Would give me so pause. So something much bigger than, say, like something falling over and making a loud crash. That, that would probably make my... That would probably make your heart race just a, <laughs> a little bit. bit. Yeah. What about a figure that looks like the fold standing right in front of the room? What's your reaction to that? Uh, my heart rate would double. It would be an immediate fight or flight response. Uh, but I would be so stunned by it that I probably wouldn't move and just stare at it for a, for a few seconds. And that's all it takes before it's gone. Okay. Oh. Uh. You can roll to steal stuff now. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to use speed? Yeah. Or... That works. Okay. I'll be okay with speed. Um, do you have anything, like an artifact to help you with the stealing? Well, I could make a distraction with, uh, a cipher. You could if you wanted. Um, you have a key though, right? Yeah. I'm going to say this is a difficulty of three because you know exactly where to go. You've got a key. You've done this before. You've been in the house before. And everybody is distracted by entering the competition themselves. So this is not Would that my, difficult. My skill and stealth give me an advantage as well? Yeah, I think, um, I think actually you should have stuff that um, knocks that down a peg, right? Because you are skilled in stealing, I believe, on your sheet. Hold on, let me look. This stealth. Yeah, you're trained, right? Yeah, trained. Yeah, so just yeah. go ahead and roll roll the stealth then. Okay. And then you uh, will add an artifact to that. Because you've got the keys. that work? No. <laughs> All right, do speed. Yeah. And then just add the artifact and we'll just see what happens. Should do it automatically for us, but if it doesn't, that's okay. None of my rolls are actually... Yeah, I wonder if it's the sheet. Hold on. Three. Oh, I've, I've discovered what was happening. Uh, okay. Let's do standard then, too. Hold on. Effort? You're not using any effort, right? You're not expending uh, any extra nope. energy? Yeah, okay. Boom. Success. What are you taking? Uh, I am taking some very... Uh, very discreet poison that is untraceable. It is uh, liquid bile poison. 
One. Let's take two. Is your intention to coat your weapons in this, or are you going to be giving it to somebody directly? Uh, it Just could curious. be used either way. No, I know, but what is your intention? But my intention is to coat my weapons. Yeah, okay. Interesting. That's it. That doesn't change and the role. I just wanted to know what kind of person you are. Yeah, I I had uh I already have some of that poison. But this would be this will make it three. Okay. Alright, you've got three vials. Alright, and you managed to sneak out okay down the trellis and you both meet up. Is there anything that you want to do before we switch over and see what our mechanic is doing with the uh, ship? Uh, nope. We're good. Okay. Yep. We can just scamper on back. All right. Well, we'll see you back at the, uh, see you back at the uh, hideout then. Okay. Help. Thank you for being so patient. Is, are you hyper-focusing right now? I knew it. I somehow just knew that that's what was going to happen. Back up in the hideout. You got to take that out of your mouth. We can't understand what you're saying. What? You got the brush in your mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Sorry. It's okay. Nope. It happens um, all the time. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm trying to paint and fix the engine at the same time. I would say it's going very well. Um, I don't know if everybody else would say that, but uh, I'm definitely saying it. Um, so, there's a few problems uh, that I'm trying to work out. I didn't want to panic anybody else. Ah, uh, okay. You know, we're alone but, now, uh, so you can tell me what's wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so the engine isn't exactly working per se, but uh, it's pretty close. I know it, it's pretty close. Uh, and, How do you uh, plan on hiding the fact that the engine doesn't work to everyone else? It's going to work by the time everybody gets back. I'm sure of it. Okay, okay. Are you sure? Yes. How sure are you? A solid 50%. Would you like um, to, would you like to gamble? Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of gambling, but I, I might have to, uh, mm -hmm. to get this done. So if you're right, and you manage to succeed getting this engine done before people get back. I'll give you a minor effect. Maybe even a major effect. Minor effect. Oh boy. And if not, I get another GM intrusion. Okay. You want to take this bet? Sure. Hey. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. Give me a roll. Gonna, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess that this is probably an intellect roll. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to lawyer uh, something out. The well, listen, I do, I, I do have uh, a, a, a set of light tools that I have on mm -hmm. me. <laughs> you yep. can see yep. them all. Can they see work em. really well. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, and, and they may uh, look like they're made out of, you know, metals and things, but really mm -hmm. I want to say it's like the strongest, like coral and stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Okay. Um, yeah. And, uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm, I, some would say I have a lot of confidence. Okay, I I am often surging with confidence. Um, so I think that I'm going to do really well. Uh, hold on, yeah. before you do this roll, uh, I'm just going to have. There's nobody watching, but if they were, I would just kind of want them to weigh in and see maybe if they think you're going to succeed or not. Okay. I feel like that's. That's very depressing that you think that people wouldn't believe in my abilities to fix this in time. I've done it plenty of times before. Well, we'll find out, I suppose. If they believe you, I mean. All right. Roll away. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, so I have my light tools. Okay, and uh, I'm surging with confidence, uh, and uh, what would you say that this difficulty is? The engine's not working at all? Well, it really depends on your perspective. 
I mean, it's... I can hear that some of the things are working, but, uh, you know, I'm probably... Uh, it's probably just having a problem turning over. There's a lot of belief in you. So mm -hmm. we'll say instead of five, it'll be a difficulty of four. Okay. Do I get any assets for my tools? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, boy. Uh, you can have and, two assets, actually. And I'm also trained in racing, piloting, and repairing watercraft. Perfect. But, I, but I'll use my intellect of uh, 12 to give this a shot. And I'm going to put some effort into it. Oh, okay. Okay. And you said this is difficulty four now? That's right. Okay. We're going to put in one effort, and I've got one asset, right? Two assets. Two assets. Oh, boy. One is your tools, and one is the belief in you. All right. Here we go. All right. Look at well my done. baby turnover. Okay, so we're going to give you... <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> we're going to give you a minor effect. So for those listening, the GM can sometimes, depending on roll, if your roll's really, really good, uh, minor effect and major effect. So minor effect is something extra bonus that happens. So more than what he expected to have done. So you just expected to get it running, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm not a mechanic. You are. What happened that you didn't expect? That is a huge oh, bonus. Oh, I got some extra. I got some extra fish power out of this thing. It's definitely got so some more So it'll go zip. faster. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that. It's definitely not safer, but it sure is faster. <laughs> All right. Oh. So you've you've been doing this basically nonstop, right? Since they oh, left. Oh yeah. And you. What I is mean, it? This is what, what is I it, love to do. Yeah, I know. What what is it like when you kind of like hyper focus on your work? Oh, it's the best. Everything gets all quiet, and and uh, it's it's like there's nobody bothering me now, and uh, I'm just thinking uh, so hard about the race. And you know, I'm making a lot of trips to uh, to Racers Bay, and you know, whatever I can, I've been trying to sneak in a race here and there. And uh, well, I've just been, you know, I'm really thinking about every every little bit of the. The, the the race and the course and I'm trying to think oh how can I shave off a little bit more time is this technically cheating if I go this way underneath that pillar and if I zip around that way maybe uh, maybe if we use the harpoon gun we could maybe shoot it into one of the outcroppings and we can turn even faster oh that's great actually that 100% will work what you said about the the harpoon gun and the outcropping and the turning faster and that 100% will work. Lockity, when did you get back? Oh, uh, Fenton, I I jumped through fourth dimension from the bottom to the top because I can't really climb no, so no, well. Fen Fenton's I'm... on his way up right now. Right, he's just... Oh, gonna... okay. All but, right, well, I didn't realize so much time's passed. Don't worry, everything's working. We are, we're good to go. I know. Hey, Kelp. Right, what? Finn's not here just yet. May I ask you, uh, so... I know, uh... There's a little bit of tension about the sword and all. You know? What about it? Well, I just want to say that I understand your position, too. Both you and Fenton, you, everything you say, your your side and his side about what to do with the broken sword, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, I know you fight about it, both of you, so much. But um, I want to say that the sword will become important. I have a feeling. So, uh, yeah, it's just a feeling I have that it will be important later. So I feel like if you wanted, you and your brother should maybe talk about that, the ancestral sword, at some point, probably before the next, oh, certain number of days that I'm not gonna, I don't have a, I, I don't have a number because it's not like I'm from the, 
Careful. Well, I'm just saying you should talk about it with your brother. Okay. Uh, he tries to talk to me all the time about it, but we've just got so many things to do. I'll, I'll try and find some time walking me. Time with your brother Fenton is going to be really important. You should spend as much time with him as you can. He spends time with me all the time. What are you talking about? He's putting his butt on everything. He is. <laughs> hey. Is going on in here? Oh, speak of the devil! What 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 are you two doing? Whoa, is, how's everything going? It's running great. We're all we're doing good. I'm gonna go uh, trim my bonsai, and just so I'm gonna leave you two brothers just to to talk about. The Hodge Glaw. Excuse oh, me, hey, pardon yeah. me. My arms are really full of stuff. Ooh. Hold on. I oh, uh, l- let me help you. Yeah. Yeah, here, just I'll put it right over there. Oh, well, okay. Okay. Uh, no, 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 right. no, no, don't bring anything. Uh, can I put it, okay, put it right? But... Uh, they're not going to talk again. I keep trying to get them to talk. It never helps. Grappling hooks, and I got food, and I got... Ooh, food. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where's, where's the food? Uh, uh, she's... Uh, she is. She's wearing the flower in her hair, by the way. Oh. So. Oh. Okay. Food. Yes, food. We need to take this and and mm. put it put it in different. Everybody needs a pack. Everybody needs a ration pack. Yeah. Uh, I I'll help with the ration pack and. Uh, yeah. Um, Thanks, Bull. Oh, always. Well, that's kind of heavy, though. But okay. Uh, I'll just not get the sails. I'll get the packs. Okay. okay. <laughs> Where should I put all this stuff? Just don't put it over there, okay? Because I'm working over there. You can see there's stuff. Okay, so what did she t- What was the list again? There's a map. Uh, we, we have a map. Um, uh, yeah, uh, here, here. So, uh, so look at this. This is everything, and there are, oh my goodness, uh, 12 different locations, and in each location there's an artifact, and we have to rate, we have to decide, we can only go to six. We go to six locations, and we try to get the artifact at that location, and each location's artifact is worth a number of points. Uh, some are worth more, some are worth less, but here's the thing I was thinking, there are a lot of teams, and they might all go to the same location, and if they get it before we do, then we don't, then we don't get it. So we might want to think about things that are worth a lot of points, but maybe we think they So we're going to the fold then. Yeah. Uh, no. That's what I was thinking. Why not? We're on the same wavelength, bro. Always. Fold is worth the most points, that's true. See? We're not going to the fold. Of course we are. We will die. No, we won't. Don't be so so pessimistic. Yeah. I'm not being pessimistic. It's the fold. I don't so think what? we should go to the fold this time. A- Any time ever, we're not going to the fold. Right. I yeah. Okay, we're not going to the fold. But definitely not going to the fold. Nope. No, sure no way. We'll go to the fold, yeah. Yes. Yeah. No one's definitely serious. Definitely not going. <sighs> yes, I know the argument that you would make. You would say that nobody ever goes to the fold and it's worth the most points, and so therefore... That is exactly the argument I would make. Uh, yeah. No. Me but, too. Right, but I don't think we should go this time. I think this time we shouldn't go to the fold. You mean we, we went No, before? I just mean... I just... No, no. I, I mean the oh. theoret... Uh, no time we're going to the fold. Let's move on. I think Vinny and Ridge will be easy. Uh, Angler's Cove. We've been there before. Um, that sounds okay. like Pollywog talk here. Right. Yeah, way to take us to the fold. So what happens with the fold? 
Oh, this is, I just, there was something happened that was really strange. I just felt like maybe, I don't know, maybe it was the fourth dimension. Uh, I was saying we, we, we shouldn't go to the fold this time. I mean, for this race, I think, uh, maybe just not this race. Maybe next year we could go to the fold. All right, so here's what I think. We go to the fold. No. <laughs> we don't have very long to plan this. We should probably pick the other five locations we're going no. to and the order we're going to go in them. And then we can talk about whether or not we're going to the fold. Okay, okay. If we don't go okay. to the fold, we need to pick a place that won't have as much people, but still gets us. I'm not the really the best want. at planning, so I yeah. was just going to see whatever way the racers are going, and then we go, you know, the best way that we can see. What if we start on like, and we do like an out outer like, um, like we we cr- I don't know the nautical terms, but if you go around like the outside edge, so if we start at like the the uh, the co- let's see what's on there, Vinian Strait. What if we start at Vinian Strait and we go around to Remo's Dock and then we hit the mud flats? There, I mean, it's a little bit of a longer route, but at least we're going in a straight line. You know what I mean? Well, uh, Vinian Strait, well, that's worth five points, which is good. So I was thinking that uh, the Band Clam Estuary is worth six, and I feel like bold people will go for that one because it's worth the most points that's not the fold. So All if we right. don't pick that one, we pick one of the ones that's worth five because uh, there are a number of those. That seems like a good idea. And most are, So we go for, I think that's, Velia, I think your idea is really smart. Delia. Thanks. Where yeah. does your family go usually? Uh, yeah. so our ships are really fast. So yeah. they like. Well, I mean, they don't. They are. They're fast. So okay. the way they like they're to fast, do it is Kelp. they try to. They try to pick the the cluster that's the most points, and then they go around in a smaller circle. So it's not a long one, but it's like whatever cluster has the most points together. They go for that, so it's they like go the, the estuary, like the little, right? Yeah, like in the little, you know, the 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 smaller areas. They're fast and they're light and they're small, so they can get into like the little, you know, inner portions, like in between. Oh well, you know their ships and their storage. I mean, I did race on them so pretty well. Pretty what are you well. asking me, Draco? I'm saying you could let us know where they're gonna go. Get the artifact that most points on their route, and we just um, take it. What? For this, they would. Oh. You mean before they get there? No, after they so get there. So the route changes every race, by the way. That so these like are new locations. Yeah. 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 Based on this, it looks to me like they would be going to. Um. Hmm. That's. I'm just looking at the map here. Uh, trying to find the Eon Pinnacle, probably with the K and the Eon Pinnacles, and uh, is Mingu Islands on there? Yeah, no. they're down. It's down on the bottom Are they right down yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I, I was looking at the map and then um, the list, but they're not on the list. So I feel like it. Yeah, what they would go to the mud oh, they should Yeah, be. they probably the Fury do Isles these. is. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, they'd be down, in like yep. the south, the southwestern portion, or excuse me, southeastern portion of the of this area is where they mm-hmm. go. Yeah. Okay. Which, so probably the which area uh, has the most points? Beyond pinnacles. The I fold. Think. The fold. Yes. Oh, where they're gonna go? They're not going to the fold. All oh, right. My family would not go to the fold. I mean, nobody's no one's gone. gonna go to the fold. Yeah, nobody's gone to the fold. Ever. Yet. Especially now that it's becoming so unstable. Uh, we're we're not going to the fold. Me and Bull are not gonna go there. Of course. So you know Ren Brightshield's gonna be racing, right? Mm. You are not supposed to say his name in the Sorry. cave! We Bull. don't talk about him in so, the cave, Bull! So last time we talked about him in the cave, one of my uh, one of my upgrades was destroyed. So uh, maybe let's not do that anymore. Fenton is like boiling, 
just silently. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I sitting there. I need to sit on something. <laughs> I, I, I slide a little pillow over. Like, I have a little pillow. I just slide it over. Uh, yeah, I just, I need to sit down. Thanks. I just <laughs> figured we might want to think that he'll be racing too with his team, and uh, maybe we want to maybe not go where he goes. So you're saying steal from him? This is silly. We need to stop thinking about what everybody else is going to do and just do what we're going to do. Right, exactly. We okay. need to go anyway. We're running out of time. We're yeah, out of we're, time. We're, we're getting short on time. So let's start with what Velia says. Let's let's start there. Okay, what what way was that again? Vinny and Straight is the first one. Right. Then Remo's Dock, which is five points. Then the Mud Flats, which is also five points. And I mean, that's we're, we're we won't be in the fold, but we'll be real close to it. But we won't be in it. But all these outer yeah, ones are. Yeah, because we're not going there. We're not going there. Definitely and then, not. Uh, no, I've never done the fold. And then we could hit K of the Bulbura, and then uh, Eon, which is which is thir- three, and then Eon Pinnacles, which is also five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then six. What's the the last one that would be in like a? Uh, Just go to the clay. Um, Bulabura. Did you yeah. see that one yet? Yeah, that yeah. was the yeah, that's the fourth one. And then Eon oh. Pinnacles is the fifth one. And then uh it's for a circle, Bank Clam Estuary is a it's six. Perfect. So I'm just now, gonna throw out there to the reason why that one's six is because you would most likely racers will have to cross the the um howling sea to get there which is very dangerous i'm just throwing it out okay. there oh no not that one we well, wait a minute the howling sea okay this is bold and definitely not what we did what we would have done if <laughs> what if we start there yeah that's what i was gonna say we should start there we should go to that one first and pick up those the those points and then go and you get... do have to go back to the starting point right which is um palm plaza so mo so what you would then be doing is you'd be going from palm plaza through racers bay and you'd probably go uh-huh. down the coast to the estuary first then go across and then go back yep. up around and then that way you end up near remo's dock and then you hit palm plaza again that, that right? way we wouldn't have to go like directly over the howling seas so, well we would on the way back but yes right yeah uh, for we don't anything. Have to cross... you just point me in the direction we need to go really fast and i'll do it we don't yeah. have to cross the howling sea once i think that's a better idea okay i'd prefer if we didn't have to cross the howling sea at all well it's if we want the than... point all right it's fine. better than we'll two cross the howling sea point. as long as you promise we're not going to the fold. We're definitely He's... not going to the fold. I will... Deal. Fenton. Promise. Fenton, Promise. listen to me. Fenton, I'm but very yes. serious about this. I know you want to be a monster hunter and all of that. I know it. And I know the fold is exciting because there are monsters there that are coming through. I know this. And I know you've been thinking about this all this time. But will you please listen to me? It's very important for this race let's not go to the fold and i don't mean winking winking and so forth and then we go let's really not go this time oh. this, for this for this race please uh, okay yeah i agree because you Thank can get you. hurt and i okay. agree with Belia's plan all right, because Vinny is straight. I, it's still a little far from Palm Plaza where we started, but it's like a big circle. I, so. I, I definitely, I definitely, we're going full. I thought you said that you, we just, you just wanted us to point at you in a direction. Right. Okay. You, you, Is you everybody ready? That. Okay. Uh, so I'm ready. All right. Yep. Okay. Let's get this thing in the water. Okay. Oh, so I gotta bring my books. I need my books. Uh, let's, let's remember. So everybody's bringing their pack. You've got all your provisions. Obviously, you know, we don't have to roll to remember to do all of that. You've got your extra sails. You've got your grappling hooks. You've got some fishing nets. You guys are all prepared and ready to go. However, um, this is the first time you are lowering this ship, right? 
Did we talk about the pulley system that you guys <laughs> rigged up for this boat? Let's let's talk about it a little bit. Can you let them know what you've done? <laughs> the ship has never really been seaworthy yet, right? This is its first maiden I, voyage. I'm extremely confident that it is seaworthy. The engine's working. But it hasn't slept. been seaworthy yet, right? This is its maiden voyage. But I feel like that is just... It's really just semantics. Okay? Has it been on the water yet? Um, parts of it have. <laughs> Not all of it at once. So just so everyone knows, once you get this pulley system, there's no going back. There's a, It's a one-way trip for this raft, right? For your ship. Hodge, well, I imagine Bob. we could maybe rebuild it it would take a couple, I mean, what? Kelp can do anything. I imagine within a couple of days, we could probably work it back. But I mean, we have a race to do, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. don't have time. All right. Oh. Okay, so everyone's gonna pile on the Hodge Glob. And how well, does this, how is this gonna we're work? We're gonna lower it first, and then yeah. people can get yeah. on. Oh, you're not gonna Just... be on it while you're lowering it? Oh, I, I don't think Finn that's will. a good idea. That sounds Who's dangerous. Who's gonna lower it then? Uh, yeah, but I bet yeah, we're gonna, we're Should gonna, I use we're... a GM intrusion? I feel like I uh, might wanna. Uh, who, Would a GM intrusion, doesn't a GM intrusion give us XP? It does, it gives you experience mm. if you take it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. You don't have to take this GM intrusion, but I say you should be on the ship because that's exciting. So anyone who's on the ship is going to get a free XP is what you're trying to say. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, I'm getting on the ship then. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, uh, gets on. yeah I, I, I would probably do that as well then. And, and what okay. Kati's like, seeing it, seeing it, seeing it happen. Like, like, it's like, mm -hmm, yep, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> as, as, as the fair waters get on the ship. And I just look at Velia. I mean, it saves you having to do your little fourth dimension elevator. I know. Okay. What are you worried about? Nothing. And I get on as if I know what's going to happen, and, I, and then I can't <laughs> stop it. And I just get onto the, the onto the Hodge Glob. Mm -hmm. And I, but I look around really quickly, and I'm like, and I just grab on, and I. I like I twist my hand into one of the kelp vines on the side for no reason, you know, for no reason. But, but I do. I twirl I onto XP. the ship. I'm gonna take that XP. Yep. Everybody I leap, get on. Leap as well. gracefully. So okay. who is, who's going to be operating the pulley system? Well, I feel that, like there should be at least two. Yeah, I'd probably either be in Fenton or be in Jacko, maybe. Or Fenton and boys. Jacko would work. They're the stronger ones. That's true. Yeah. I have 11 might. I have 16. Wow. I have nine. So oh, Fenton's that's stronger. Good. Is that what we just learned? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Fenton's really strong. Yeah, so, strong. okay, so Velia's it's gonna be... really strong too. Yeah. What about so, Velia? Yeah, so is it V and Fenton on the uh, pulley system? Oh, who, who would do it normally? Wait, who would do it normally? Who would be the people who would normally do it? Well, would it be there the, is no the, normally because this is the first time you've ever done it. Well, I mean, let's say it's not the first time we've ever done it. Who oh. might have done it the first time <laughs> uh, would be well, my question. I will leave that up to you lot. I think I we just I think we just discovered who did it the first time. Yeah. It's V yeah. and Fenton. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, uh, there's rigging and stuff that you yeah. need to like be up for. So I get up to do uh, that. Kel part. Kelp is, is is very smart. Velia should probably do it this time instead of Fenton. Uh, Velia should do it instead of Fenton. Are you sure? Look at these muscles. They're both they're both doing they're both it. Doing. Uh, okay. Velia, just go up there. I'm going. And she sends the rigging. Why are you always so worried? <laughs> Less worried now. All right. I need uh, three rolls, I think. And you can do them all at the same time. I need V's roll. I need Fenton's roll. 
And Kelp, I need a roll from you as well. Oh boy. Because you, you, made, you created the rigging in the first place. Yeah, I did. And this is just sure might, did. right? This is might. Yep, you two, it's might. I think yours is going to be intellect. Kelp. Okay. Right? Oh, I think that probably makes the most yeah, sense. That makes so what's the, the difficulty of this? Yeah, how hard is this? What do you can, think? Yeah. Can, can I make a roll? Can I yeah, make a roll? what's your roll for? Anticipation. <laughs> to give an asset to a friend. <laughs> I, I'd like to. I'd like to give an asset. Okay. Actually, it's not a. It's, it's not a roll. Uh, it's. Uh, I uh, look ahead. Multiple actions. This will be for. Uh, this will be. This will be an asset. Oh, for I me. love this. Read this out so that they can. I mean, you've yes. done it already once yes. the episode, but. So it's a special ability. Uh, you, you look ahead to see multiple possible future outcomes, because I was here once, uh, of your next action. This informs you of the best move to make in the present, giving you an asset on the first task to perform uh, the end of the next round, before Perfect. the end of the next round. All right. Yes, you do that. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm like, Cal, I'm like, okay, well, now things are different, so let me think, right? So I'm just sitting there, and I just, like, pull out my little navigational tool, and I start calculating as a little blue light starts enveloping me. And I, I'm going to give it this asset to Velia for no reason. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, here we so go. I'm going to... I don't think I have anything to really help me with this, unfortunately, except my tools. I did make it. Mm-hmm. Would you say that yeah. that's an yeah, asset? Of course. Okay. All right. I just have my strength. I just have my strength, I think, yeah. You have an asset, though, V. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's a. you said it was a four, or what yep. was the... Yep. Okay. We're going I'm going to go four. ahead and put it in another effort. And you can put in effort to help reduce it. Every effort... Uh, normally, uh, effort costs three, but if you have an edge in might, it'll only cost you two points. All right. Okay. Great. Um, yes. So. Oh, wait. 16 is a roll, isn't it? 16, 17, 18, no. 19? Or no, it's 17 nope. onward. Damn. Oh, that's correct. We almost got something All right. <laughs> so I'm going to spend an mm-hmm. effort mm-hmm. then, and, and one asset, and oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, what? Why did that's, it? Uh, oh. No, that's Uh-oh. correct. Yep, that's yep. correct. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm up then. It's no. almost like Bull knew what was going to happen, and that's why he was like, hey, I'm going to try to help you. And But I can't change the future. But you can't change <laughs> the future. I can't change the past. I try. I try. Um, <clears throat> Fenton, go ahead and roll. Now Fenton's gonna be very focused. He's gonna try and focus on this. Put in some effort. No asset. Hey. Fourteen. All right. So why don't you together collaboratively, and I want something from each of you as this happens. You get about halfway down, something breaks and your raft plummets to the water. You'll be okay, no one's gonna be hurt, and the raft's not broken. But what do we see? What happens? And how do you fix it? How do you stop I the raft from being broken? nothing broke. <laughs> okay then, go ahead. <laughs> um, so the pulley system has, uh, well, it's got, it's got two, it's got two pulleys, okay, on either side, and a rope uh, that, that intertwines between the pulleys. So mm-hmm. there's, uh, uh, so there's like a, 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 a circular rope that goes around the pulleys, and one end kind of comes down, and that's what when one person holds on for the back, and then on the other side for the front, uh, there's another uh, set of pulleys and rope, and uh, uh, I, you know, I, I've got it sort of set up so that it is. Uh, well, Fenton, Fenton helped a little bit into getting the. Um, the uh the the spike into the to the rock uh because i had a bit of trouble with that but uh everything's working fine i swear all right Mm -hmm. and uh so am am i next sure basically i imagine fenton you know He's jabbing that spike in. He's uh, pretty much using all his strength in this situation since mm-hmm. he's putting in all that effort. Um, he pretty much in this situation 
guess it was a 14. He, he did his best to maintain what was left of the pulley system. I think it was a, <laughs> like anything above a nine. So I think you've very much succeeded. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So everything as far as what Fenton did with this mm -hmm. was successful. He, he had no issues. Perfect. Whatsoever. Jacko? Uh, Jacko would see... Well, it was V, the other person, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Isn't, yeah, didn't it happen to V? It, well, I mean, it happens to all yeah. of you because you're all on oh, the ship. Right. So it's terrifying mm -hmm. as it plummets yes. at least a little bit uh, before it's righted. Do you do anything to help right it, Jacko? Like, I'm imagining, like, either a rope phrase or the pulley breaks, yeah. and she's scrambling to grab it, and well, either yeah, something comes down. Well, yeah, that's what I would Because yeah. I was up high, so yep. I'm, I'm hanging in midair like when the ship Like, you fly plummets. with it a little bit. I'm, yeah, you I go with the rope. Yeah, okay. The, yeah. So this yeah. is, yeah. this is like, it's happening so fast. Yes. But Jacko's pretty quick. Mm hmm So he's able to use those uh, reflexes of his that he's, that he's developed over the years to mm -hmm. try and help and like grab the rope at the last second. Perfect. And then do you like, do you like hook something to the rope and wait it so that she comes back down? Yeah, I, yeah, use, okay. uh, I use Fenton's chair and then I sit in it. <laughs> and then you sit no. in the chair. <laughs> yeah, I had no choice. Yeah, and so it's... then she's able to come back down and she is, you know, her, I don't want to give away too much, but she's very mm -hmm. agile and fluid. So as she's coming down, she's probably grabbing onto like the other rope and then flipping back to the other rope. So it might be scary for a second as we see her go flying up into the air, but then it looks like she's an acrobat and she's done this multiple times before and she just kind of I end up looking down. like one of those aerial silk artist people, mm -hmm. the rope, mm -hmm. like I use the rope around my body yeah. to like fix the issue and then, yep, thankfully with the help of the extra weight and all that, I'll be able to get down safely. Perfect. Like I looked like I planned it. I meant yeah. to do that. I meant to do that. <laughs> do you do anything special? Once your raft has hit the open water, you're all all right. You breathe off the, the scare factor and the anxiety of the plummet and the almost accident in the beginning. Everybody gets I was already an holding on. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> gets an experience point because you knew what was going to happen. Um, oh, that went well. Uh, everybody, good job. Okay. <laughs> do you uh, do anything to celebrate this? Or what is this Fenton, moment like? Uh, I'm heading up to the uh, front of the boat, and Fenton shouts, All right, to the fold. Just kidding. To the fold. Let's go. I will hurt you. I'm going to start Palm up the engine. Plaza, you fools. What she said. I'll stand I, in the bow and like point out the direction of this way, kelp. That way. All right. So well, here we go. To the not the fold. <sighs> not the fold. To the plaza. Let it to begin. The plaza. Is that right? That's right. What I what we did last time. We should do this time. <laughs> okay. Go. Set we sail. Can make it together. We're a team, and we're forever friends. I, I, this is a great song. Thing. I love it. Hey, come up here. I'm at the front of the, the ship. Look at look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. It's beautiful. And we're together, and we can do it. That's Everybody right. lead to the right. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Shouldn't we have planned for this? We should have. I, I, sorry. Oh. Is that a rock? It is. Oh. Hey, everybody lead to the pool. Okay, okay. Oh, oh over oh. here. Okay, oh. yeah. And you don't sit on me. Oh, uh, that's just a habit. Okay. God. Uh, okay. I, um, I think I just, I just, put my hand on Jacko's shoulder, even though, because I know everybody's looking forward and it's all very exciting, and I just put my hand on Jacko's shoulder. He knows why. And Fenton slowly sits down on oh. Bacati's shoulder. Hey. <laughs> I love that. 
please. <laughs> it's a nice move perch that up palm here. Fraud? Oh. Yeah, I'll get it. I can't see. Oh, uh, Velia. I got it! And I'll dance to wherever the palm frond is, like, doing flips and stuff. <laughs> Dash. Perfect! All right, is everybody ready? I'm gonna yeah, ready yeah. Now. Uh, let's go. Okay. Let's see what this baby can do! Hello! Welcome to the end of Tidal Blades Episode 1! How do we feel? Yay! That was Yay. awesome. I feel I loved good. It. Loved that so much. <laughs> Me too. You guys did a great job. It was so good. I, I was laughing a lot. <laughs> Which was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I can't I help laughing. it. I can't help it. I wasn't it. laughing because I always stay in character. <laughs> and your character is very jolly. That's one thing I know about Jacko. What? Super jolly. Yeah. Jolliest guy. That moment, why do I look so grumpy killed me? <laughs> <laughs> You're like frowning as you were saying, why do I look so grumpy? That's so good. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's do some shout outs. Let's start with Troop. We'll go hey. this way. I'm Trooper SJP, and uh, you can find me at Trooper SJP on the Twitches or Academic Foxhole on the Twitters. And uh, what is today's Saturday, right? Yeah. Uh, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, you can find me GMing Haunted West over on Roll20 app, uh, which is super cool. You should see it's the first uh, the first full on episode is happening on Tuesday, so you should do that. On Fridays, you can find me on my channel at 7 p.m. Eastern for City of Light and Shadow, a fate French resistance campaign, and. Uh, but the biggest shout out I want to do is the following. One, Fenton's the best. Uh, I love Fenton. I love the ways Aww. in which Fenton is a little insecure, but has so much like heart. Uh, but I know that Fenton can do it. Also, Kelp is so like in, in Kelp's zone. I love it. But Kelp also is like, this is also our home, built our home together in our raft. Mm -hmm. Also, Velia, I just give the love for Velia for the, for like her practicality, but also uh, the ways when she's like, I don't want anybody to get in, put in prison for this one here. But you know, it might happen. And Jacko, because uh, Jacko's like my little brother, my big brother, my helping brother. And then also PB for really honestly being like, hey, I want to ruin all of your lives, but this is a wholesome game, so I'm going to ruin it in an anime way, which means there'll be a lot of crying. That's, That's all my the, love. The final episode title, Ruin It in an Anime Way. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Perfect. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I did want to just make a note. I don't think, I'd have to double check, I don't think there's a jail. I think you get exiled. Yes, that's all. Oh. Yep. So... Good to know. But There's just worse. a cannon. It is you so just, much worse. You you, you don't go to jail. You, you just can never come home. Yeah. Torpedo. Yep. <laughs> just to Good just to put that pressure on you yeah. <laughs> if and you that, break that the rules. Clearly happened to us. Yeah, like, it really Especially could. with maybe, someone like Fenton. Not that you're going um, to the fold, but maybe that's Jacko. what happens to get you to the fold. We don't know. I know some people that can get you out of exile. It's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. ID. <laughs> I don't want to get arrested for sitting. <laughs> it's probably going to happen. It's going to happen. Sarah, you're up. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, my name is Sarah P. That's me. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Sarah P. That's me. I'm not currently streaming um, anything at the moment because I'm playing this awesome game. Um, but yeah, I also play on Wild RP with some of these amazing folks, and I'm really excited to be here. And I just want to make a shout out for Trooper and Bull for being the most amazing fourth wall breaking already, He's me so making adorable. So bulbous little wonderful man so <laughs> thank you for being with us so <laughs> perfect whack you're up hey everybody i'm whack steven normally i am the gm or dm of doom here on table story but i get to play here uh first time playing with pb in a long time as a player and her as the gm uh, so I've really missed that, and uh, it's great to have PB as the GM. She's done a lot of work for this. Much love uh, to yes. PB. Thank you, PB, um, yeah. for being amazing as usual. Uh, and Trooper, thank you so much for taking on the most difficult role for sure. Mm -hmm. I Time travel is way over there, and I'm playing a character that doesn't understand time travel as well as a human that doesn't understand time travel. So, <laughs> yay! I'm uh, um, thank you so much for doing that, Trooper, because it's fantastic, and um, you're doing amazing. Great job, and uh, also a great job to our first time table story peeps yeah! for being here. Great job, everybody. We did it. We did it. We did great we job. Did you did it. so well. Yes, so well. You did. Is it, Thank you. Orchestra, is it you and I that are like the first? This is like our first tabletop. And tabletop is ever. mine. Yeah. Uh, I've For done me, a it's couple. It's, see, I, this is the first time I've ever done any. Just you, tabletop. Biz. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you yeah. well, for some reason. And and the th and three of you are the first time. This is the first time you've been on Table Story, Table so story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so thank you so much for that. I'm honored. Really, thank really you. well. I'm thank honored. You. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't um, even know I was gonna be on. <laughs> but yeah, until <laughs> yesterday, I did. We, you just so today. Yep. You just I appeared because <laughs> I saw just it. Showed up. I, I like foresaw it, but I couldn't say. I was like, yeah, you know. We have a new player coming in, but I can't say anything. It's, 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 you know. <laughs> ruin the timeline. You know, yeah, ruin you the know. timeline. I know. <laughs> Black, shout out your your game. Oh yeah, uh, I'm designing a TTRPG. If you want to come check that out, you can come check out my channel, Wax Steven, on uh, on Twitch. Uh, creating a tabletop RPG from scratch, which uh, has been a, a hell of a ride, a really fun experience, and uh, I'm getting close to doing a like friends and family uh, campaign playtest soon. It's also um, anime as fuck. It is extremely, it is. it's extremely it anime. Yeah, it's a uh, sort of isekai reverse isekai and a little bit of apocalypse kind of stuff. So um, be on the lookout because you will most likely see that on Table Story yeah. at some point. Perfect. Thanks, Wack. Biz, you're up. I'm Biscato. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Biscato. I'm not streaming. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have anything to plug, but but you can find me on Wild RP as Colin Carver. He's usually going to bed when you when you watch him. <laughs> so. But he's not sitting on things. So I mean, not, he he sometimes sits on things, but it's not in the same way. Yeah, yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. I think what I what it? I want to plug is that uh, everyone in here deserves a follow because they're amazing, fantastic role players, and uh, I love them. Right, right here, right in the heart. But uh, mm. that's it. That's, I don't have anything else for you. Thank you. Work, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to shout out uh, PB because she's doing an amazing job. I sat there. I laughed at your jokes. Mm, the preparation you put into this was pretty awesome. I saw some of it mm -hmm. uh, firsthand. It is really, really cool. So big shout out to PB. Uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash orcishwc. That's also my Twitter handle. Uh, I stream almost every day, mostly wild RP, where I play Senior Papiti Macrega. <laughs> say it. Say the uh, Saints Crossing line. Do it. <clears throat> Saints Cross on Sheriff's Department, Senior Papiti Macrega. <laughs> I love Perfect. it. Put your hands up. Put your fucking hands up. Put your hands up. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, everybody. I'm PB. I am the GM. I don't even, I, or narrator or whatever it is that you want to call me. And um, I had a blast. Uh, I want to do a shout out to um, 
Druid City Games for giving us early access to the system because it's not out yet. Monty Cook Games, Cypher System, uh, Shanna, Jermaine uh, worked on the game, did the game design, and we're just so thrilled to be able to play it early. Um, I saw it on Twitter like a year ago, just the cover art, and I went, that looks like Chrono Cross. I, I need to do that. I need it. Mm -hmm. um, and they've been so patient with my many, many emails over the last year and a half. Uh, as I'm like, is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Um, so yes, special thanks. Uh, and also just thank you to my players. You guys killed it. Also, I just need you to know, I did the standard PB thing where I didn't tell them what we were doing until five minutes prior to going live. Um, they had uh. no idea that we were going to do time travel to this extent. They got in the call and I was like, so do you guys want the easy entry or do you want the standard PB entry, which is like throwing you in the deep end? And they were like deep end. So I went time travel. <laughs> I almost puked. Yeah, <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> I did. By the way, we're starting at the end. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so that was great. So everybody did such a good job. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, we'll be back next week. Yay. Yay. Yeah. See you later, alligator. See you around, Bye. folks. <laughs> well, it'll be all right. Don't worry. <laughs> We're going to have a plan. <laughs> What's a plan? What's a plan Ooh. indeed? Oh.